Hello, this is Pixel Freak, and I'm taking a look at Dark Avenger, Gameville's new hack and slash RPG game. Just came out today. Um, I've actually played it for a couple minutes, but I'm still going to call this a first look. I I've only played the first couple levels, and I'm going back and I'm restarting, and we're going to go ahead and go through it again as if this were my first time through the game. So as normal, we got the big ad here at the top. That's pretty uh, pretty standard for Gameville. Touch the screen. So we get our choice between two different characters here. We have a Templar, and we have a Ranger. And we have more ads. Luckily with Gameville, at least, the ads are only Gameville specific. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Templar. Oh, I'm going to have to pick Templar because coming soon is the perfect marksman, the Ranger. So Templar, your only choice. Let's go ahead and put a name in. There we go. Alright, so we got our basic stats here on the left hand side. We have looks like character slots on the right hand side. Some stats here. There we go. And the little white dots you see on the screen, those are where my touches are. I've put something in there so you guys can see you know, what everybody everybody can see what I, what I'm doing. Anyways, we have our game matches here on the right hand side. I can do single player, infinity tower, and death match. Let's go ahead and spin through those. We'll start with single player. And then I'll cover the uh, shop inventory and skill in the upper left-hand corner here in a moment. Let's jump right into the game. All right, here we go. So a little in instruction here kind of gives you an explanation of the HUD. And then you're off. So this game, for the most part, looks like it's been released as a reaction to the very popular Game Loft series, Dungeon Hunter. Or, I think it's called Dungeon Hunter. Something like that. Number 4 just got released recently. I didn't review that game. Uh, I felt it had been covered pretty well by other other people. Um, and it had come out on iOS so much earlier that it was one of those things where it wouldn't have gotten a lot of attention from me. So as you can see, the little circles there, kind of by where the attack button is, those are skills. Uh, they just have they have to be unlocked and assigned. And pretty soon here, one of them actually unlocks. So this is a freemium game, and being a freemium game, it's a little skewed towards making purchases. The nice thing about this game that I've seen so far is that it's actually pretty well done. Uh, I don't know exactly what that means in terms of what the freemium model will look like later in the game. I don't know how unfair it's going to be, or if it's going to be unfair. So there you go. Alright, so I've inherited my first skill. I'll go ahead and use that. You can see it's got a cooldown of 3-4 seconds. Oh, first kind of mini boss guy there, that little mummy looking guy. But as far as I can tell, you're not given a block. There's not an option to block. Um, and you're not really given a dodge, though this ability that you get kind of allows you to, to zoom through guys. And that's the end of the first level. So you're rated up in the upper right hand corner, S. You got a few items as you go through each level. Next. This is pretty standard. I mean, this is a Diablo clone. Only it's kind of funny because Dungeon Hunter, that was more of a Diablo clone. This is more of a clone of that game. Um, but I think this game does the job pretty well. I really don't mind grinding in games like this. And so this game being a free game, um, I, I don't mind it. I think it's actually a, a pretty decent implementation. So we can equip different items here. The ones you pick up. Didn't really have a, an impact on the way that I looked. But you can also, in the upper hand corner here, see my thoughts. You can go to the shop and you can buy different items here. Of course you have like a, these boxes here where you have to spend the gems. So I guess we should talk about the uh, currencies up here in the upper right hand corner. Here you have the gold and then here you have the gems. The gold you require throughout the game. The gems, I don't think you require those through the game. You might a little bit. I haven't been getting them. Um, if I'm getting them at all, it's not not very common. 
I'm not sure exactly what this is. Let's let's dig into that a little bit more. Um, so the gems here, you can see the, the rare lucky box. Um, cost 20. Probably has... Feeling lucky today? Probably has some decent items in it. Okay, that's nice. And of course, potions. Now, your mana potions... I think your mana goes up over time. Um, at least that's what I saw. Your health, however, does not go up during during fights. We'll test that out here in the next fight. Um, but you have some other options here for items. Delete stones. What's an elite stone? Upgrades upgrades your equipment. Same thing, pretty much. Okay. Then you can also buy weapons. Now there's a level requirement on it, but there's also a price on each one. So you can see 690, 1200, 690, wow. Armor, same thing. There's a little lag in the interface, I have to say. You can see that between the touches and when the when the screen is reacting. Hmm, okay. Golden Gym. So here you go. Here is the prices on the in-game currencies. So you can spend up to $100 if you want to, which is insanity, but you can do that. And what was that? That one item was like 900. Okay, so that one sword was a hundred bucks. Um, I, I find that to be a little slimy. That's not not exactly my uh, my cake, but nothing saying that that sword is required to beat the game. So there you go. Relics. Oh, if you buy the the best necklace of all of them, which I don't have any necklace on right now, you can buy it right now. You can buy it at level one if you'd like to. And it's like super mega necklace. So there you go. That's the, uh, the shop. Let's go back out. Let's go ahead and play one more level. Let's test the test the waters on if my uh, my mana or my health goes up. I'm almost positive my mana goes up. The only reason you need mana potions is if you do a lot of skills. So there you go. Looks like the mana's ticking up. That's what I thought I had saw him before. Let's go ahead and take a couple hits. There we go. I don't know, what do you think? I don't think it's going up. I'm trying to get a number on my on my status, but it doesn't look like I can get one. So it looks like your health does not go up. You can only life it up with your life potions, which you can carry five at a time. Oh, damn it. You can carry five life potions at a time. They cost about 150 a piece, um, so they're they're gonna, it's going to be expensive if you want to if you want to carry a lot of health potions. Probably makes more sense to just play conservatively, do a lot of grinding in lower levels. And that's what I that's how this game that's how Gameville design, designs a lot of their games. You need to grind a whole bunch if you're not going to. Um, sorry, if you're not if you're not going to pay for equipment, you're going to have to grind a lot more. The ones that usually bother me are the ones where it's prohibitively bad, where if if you don't pay, then you're pretty much going to get nowhere. Even if you grind as much as you want, it's just going to be really slow. This game doesn't feel like that, at least not so far. This game actually feels like it's probably going to be pretty legit as you go through it. Uh, there we go. Oh, let's grab that. Yeah, there's just so many Diablo mechanisms in this game already. Some new equipment. But overall, I have to say, I, from what I've played so far, and I, hopefully I'll get get time to play this game a lot and do a full review, um, even though those videos just never do well. If, if, I, if I do a first look video and then do the review a couple days later, yeah, they just hardly ever get watched. Um, however, I, I kind of feel like I'd like to do that with this game, just because I kind of like this game. I wouldn't mind playing this one for a little while, and then doing a review. Um, but I'll be able to, to give a better lowdown on what the pay model looks like for this game at that point, and then look what the skills look like and stuff like that. But so far, I have to say, I'm enjoying this one, especially for a free game. This one, I can recommend this one right now. Um, from just what I've played in the first 10-15 minutes, I think that it, it's a fun game, and it's, it's worth the download just to... To give it a shot. I don't want to review your game. No. Okay. So now let's jump out and let's try some of those other modes. So I hear. Um, oh, I did see this. There's a chat channel here, and there's 
now talking in chat channel. Come on. It looks like I'm in a chat channel of my own. I am the lone pixel. Okay, well, I'm gonna walk away. Earlier I was talking to people, so that normally works. Anyways, let's go to inventory real quick and let's equip any gear that I picked up. Get that on. So, the unnecessary stuff. Let's see. Ooh, I got a cool weapon that have to be level 4 for. Of course, it's only cool because I am level 2. Alright, there we go. Good enough for me for now. Let's go and do Infinity Tower. Now, Infinity Tower, I'm pretty sure, is kind of like a... Uh... Oh, I have to use keys. Let's see. How does this work? My ranking zero, floor zero, rewards, there's rewards, okay, start, five times the little key things, let's say, can I start? I can. I don't know what the little key things were, but uh, I'm, sure I'll, I'm sure I'll find that out. So I hear this is an infinite mode, um, based on some of the tweets that Gameville has put out, or maybe it was uh, in-game messages that they had done. A little performance problems here. Oh lord. So it looks like I get a timer as well, so it's not only how many enemies can I kill, but it's how many enemies can I kill within the time. And I get cash, which is good. I kind of figured I did, but I hadn't played this mode yet. So there we go. Got a little bit of money, and I'm on the way. No, it's actually kind of difficult. Toast. Oh, and I died. Didn't even get past the second one. I can revive for for diamonds. So there you go. They give you a mode to kind of grind up cash as well, if you'd like to go that way. I'll go ahead and give up. Let's see what Deathmatch is. I think Deathmatch is going to put me against um, another person. Well, so it looks like the keys that I get, I probably only get so many before I have to wait. That's what I'm guessing. And then I'll have to buy more if I'd like to do more. So it's a timed grind. Which I really don't like timed things, but whatever. What's boss raid? Coming soon. Okay. So here we go. Other people. Okay, let's see how this works. Let's see how bad I get beat down. Ha! <laughs> yeah. So this guy is level 11. So I can already tell you right now that their matching system is bad. I can't be I can't believe that. Why would they put me against somebody that's that level? That's Yeah, so I'm already dead. Oh, I see. So it's like it's timed, but then it's it's almost like a <laughs> Okay, so I don't I personally I think this mode is trash only because 
when you have a, a paid... I'm just going to bail on this. This is retarded. <laughs> I'm, I'm out. <laughs> when you have a mode like that, you can't have people buying their, their gear. Because <laughs> obviously you'll get somebody that's, that's spent $100 on their gear, and then it just ruins the, ruins the game for people like me that aren't going to spend much or anything at all. So I'd avoid deathmatch just because you're going to get a bunch of people that in, in there that all they did is buy a bunch of gear and then they're just going to kill you. Um, yeah, not my not my favorite thing to do. If you, I, I hate PvP matches where the the playing field isn't level. It's not a level playing field, so I'm I'm going to avoid that. Um, so other than that, I I'm fairly impressed. I, I like that Gameville has actually made a game that I really am looking forward to playing. So um, I'll, I'll leave it at that, and hopefully I'll be able to do a review within the next week or so to do a full review. Um, so make sure to watch that if you see it come out. Anyways, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, this has been Pixel Freak.